Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with a haul. It is a random AF haul, okay? Very random. Uh, recording this on Saturday evening, of course you're not seeing it till Sunday or later, but today I did get to go to the Azalea Festival in Pickens, South Carolina, which there's a lot of vendors there and just all kinds of cool stuff. First I'm going to show you what I got from there. And starting with taffy, saltwater taffy to be exact. Mango chili taffy. Mmm. This will get tasted for the first time on one of my hot tastes on a Wednesday. Just telling you. Okay. I also got a blue raspberry taffy. Isn't that pretty? And, oh, I dropped their card. Eggnog taffy because I love eggnog flavor and I just thought that sounded really cool. And finally, I got um, uh, a sort of flavor taffy. Cinnamon, watermelon, cherry, blue raspberry, vanilla, banana, peppermint, and huckleberry. And I know the which ones are watermelon because look, they look like watermelons. It's so cool. Anyway, I got those. They were not $5 a piece. They were like four for something cheaper. I don't remember which, but you can shop online. Let me hold this up and I'll give you his information. The Taffy Guy, Saltwater Taffy. Okay, and on the back it is thetaffyguy.com. And it's just how you think it is, okay? Thetaffyguy.com. So check them out. They actually travel all over. This one, they are from Idaho. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, got two of their cards, so that. Now his wife, also had a, they were like next door to each other and she had a uh, fudge so we got four of the fudges and they she has hundreds of flavors hundreds okay churro dough because that sounded amazing and white chocolate raspberry yum and it's actually made from Ghirardelli white chocolate chips um, this one is chocolate fudge brownie because if you're getting some fudge, you have to have some like mega wham, super whamadine fudge fudge. And mint chocolate chip. That's what we got out of their many, many flavors. They also sent little tiny spoons. I don't know who's going to eat with those. We have big mouths. And um, this is the fudge lady stuff. The Sweet Side Fudge. Handcrafted fudge. You can order online. They do ship. TheSweetSideFudge.com. There you go. Okay. Now that those and those itty bitty bags are out of the way. Ripped one of the bags. Bloop. Yeah, that was a problem. Um, now, after that, we were on our way to go get something else to eat. If you saw my post on my community page, you saw my tongue sticking out. It looked almost black. That's because I had a uh, shaved ice from the Nomadic Few. And their shaved ice is amazing. And I always get like really dark colors and it ends up making my tongue black and I'm cool with it. And they were sugar free. So bonus. All right. So there was that. Then we decided to go get some actual food, like some actual dinner. We were headed back to another town and... <laughs> There was a place that I knew of called Bargain Hunt that I had not been to in a couple of years because, you know, the world shut down for like a plague, right? So I turned in there and it was like, hmm, maybe I'll just go walk around and look because you know, I haven't been in a long time. I got to go take a look, right? Yeah, I'm looking around at the pile of stuff next to me. I did more than just take a look. I'm going to start showing you random, random stuff. I thought these sounded cool. Creamy ranch and habanero chips. Oh yes, those will get tried on Hot Taste for Wednesdays at some point. Um, <laughs> I bought every pack of these that they had because I really like the Crystal Light Lemon Iced Tea. And there are 16 packets in here. Each packet makes a half a gallon. 
for two bucks. Yes. And y'all know I could live on my diet drink stuff. I'm just drinking water. Why would I want to do that? That's just good for me, right? Let me put that up there because that actually goes over there somewhere. What else did I get? What else did I get? Oh, I got myself some kitchen 100% cotton absorbent towels. There are six of these. It was $3 for six towels. I think that's a pretty good deal. Picked these up for the hubby. He doesn't even know I have them yet. Milkmaid Royals. Buck. I got these because I thought they were cool. I don't know if I'll keep them or if they will end up in a giveaway. Watercolor pencils. 50 watercolor pencils. And that also was $3. Um, look at all the colors in there for watercolor pencils. I think that might be fun to play with. Watercolor pencils. And it says brush included. Yay. Is it a water brush included or just a brush? Probably just a brush. Uh, this, I don't know if I will keep or if it will end up in a giveaway for my birthday week. Uh, this is some tape. Look at this colorful, shiny, iridescent looking tape. Uh, that was a buck twenty-five. And this is not for me. This is for a friend of mine, my dear friend, Sean. This is unflavored, which is interesting. I'll have to add some flavor to it. Muscle milk, right? The whey protein. Um, this big old thing was five bucks. Yes. Okay. I'm going to hand this to you and you can start shuffling bags in another direction when I hand them to you because I'm kind of trapped here in this little spot that I'm in right now. Oh, okay. The receipt. Got to keep that. Some things are cheaper than what they were marked because they were like, oh, let's mark stuff down. This was marked two dollars and... I may have actually paid two bucks for this one. I'm not sure, but I thought it was cool. Yes, another clear mug for my time for tea. So y'all can see the color of my tea. This one says relax on one side. The other side is absolutely nothing on it. I thought that was kind of cool. And another mug because I just can't help myself. Oh, <laughs> this one was marked down. It said $1.75, but actually it was 60% off of that. So, in other words, it was hella cheap. You're on mute. Perfect for today's um, world of Zoom meetings and stuff. Okay. Let's see. And like I said, random stuff is totally random today. Um, I picked up a couple of things of white clam sauce. The hubby likes these. They were a buck fifty nine each, which is it's a discount from what they are in the regular store. Not a whole lot of discount, but it was a discount anyway. They're progresso. I mean, come on, that's all yum. Okay, these are for me. These are for me on my birthday week because they are birthday flipping Oreos. Yes, they are birthday Oreos for me. I might share them. Of course, I'll share them. I'm not that greedy, but yeah. Ooh, more mugs. These, the, these are the last of the mugs, though. I promise. Another clear one. I think this one was three bucks. No, it was a buck seventy-five plus sixty percent off. And this is just some kind of a mountain cabin scene kind of deal. Other side is clear, but you can see the uh, the tea that way. Because I did have comments that people like seeing the color of the tea, so I'm trying to do that. This is not a clear one. And I have not decided if I'm keeping this or if it's going to be a giveaway, but I absolutely love it. Activist. That is awesome. This one was also a buck 75, but then 60% off. Uh, speaking of giveaways, I like to wrap things up when I put stuff in packages and send you put the tissue paper on and stuff. I got to show you this. Look at all of the different packs of tissue paper in there. Okay. There's red and white ones there's green ones there's bubbly colored like birthday looking ones just all kinds of cool ones this whole pack was marked ten dollars and that actually would be a good buy this is a lot of tissue paper however it was also 60 percent off this was four bucks for all of that you couldn't buy it for that price at dollar tree let alone dollar 25 tree okay saw this i had never seen this before so i thought it would be interesting cinnamon cornflakes what? That's just going to be fun to try. Okay, another bag down. 
They're open and falling down. Get up there. Okay. Uh, I got a couple of chicken broths. These were a buck a piece. Swanson chicken broth in the container. It keeps forever. Always good to have chicken broth on hand. Also got an almond milk. Vanilla almond milk. Which also in this container will keep for a long time uh, in the pantry. And that was also a buck. This was also a buck. The Swiss Miss. This is the eight pack with the marshmallows. It was a buck. So that was a pretty good deal. And this goes in the pantry. I'll just put it here. Got this for the hubby. He likes these juice splash mixes. But orange pineapple sounded interesting. And I think this was like, it was a buck or just a little bit over. It wasn't much. And it just sounded really good. So this was $2. And I thought that it was interesting and it'd be fun to try. It's called the Bear bear baked crunchy organic cinnamon apple chips apple chips y'all that's just yummy they have everything there they have clothes and stuff too i just took a glance at the clothing and just did not do much with it oh and i see you over there will you bring me the popcorn because i forgot to show that thank you this is uh something i have not tried herdez avocado hot sauce made in mexico that'll be fun on a hot taste thank you I went to, um, of course, again from the festival. I cannot leave a festival without kettle corn. One of them, and yes, there is some already eaten out of them because of course there is. One of them is just butter and salt and the other one is true kettle corn, the sweet and salty. They're not marked which one. You just chew and go, yum, because popcorn. Okay. I swear we're almost done, believe it or not. This may seem really, really random, and I know we can all make our own stuffing, right? But stovetop is like the ultimate easy side dish. You literally boil some water with some butter and pour this in, and like five minutes later, you have got stuffing to have as a side dish. The traditional sage, you don't see around much, but it's really, really good. And 50 cents a box. So I bought everything that they had, and that which was a grand total of four boxes. So yeah, that'll go up in my pantry as well. And almost last, second to last, but not least, look at this hot sauce. Oh my gosh, that is seven hot sauces, okay? This is a heavy thing. It's probably gonna cost me a small fortune to ship, but that's okay. This was five bucks. Always willing to tell a price because I'm a thrifty girl. But this will be given away during my birthday week on the hot taste day yes so somebody will win some hot sauce i thought that was pretty awesome great deal and finally last but not least this is a hefty mondo okay y'all know that i do the crochet thing and i love the whip caddy i was introduced to the whip caddy by uh, pamela's adoring crochet and i have one this one is a little bit different because it doesn't come from like Michael's or wherever the other ones come from. This one I think originally came from Target. I think it was originally like 40 bucks or 45 bucks. Uh, this was 20. And no, it's not just a box with a picture of a caddy in it. It's going to be put together in just a little while. But yeah, 20 bucks. Um, I say that's a pretty good deal. I am not mad at anything. I literally went in there just to look around and I spent about $75, but that's still not bad for all the cool stuff that I got. So I'm tickled about it. I thought I'd share it with you. My festival purchases were awesome. I found lots of stuff that I wanted to get. Um, I will probably order some stuff from people that I got business cards from. And then when I get it, I will share their information with you because I like supporting small businesses too. This was a big business purchase, but some of the stuff from the festival, that's little small businesses, local people. And um, yeah, they deserve a business. So I hope that you have had a wonderful weekend. I was outside way too long. I'm probably going to be a little bit burnt, not badly, but just a little bit. And yes, I wore my big old huge scrunchie that I made. So had to put it on to try it out. You know, see if I want to make another one or two or 12. Who knows? Oh, and one thing, at this festival, I did not see any people with crochet. I thought that was weird. There was everything from woodworkers to people who make stickers. I did not show you the stickers. I might show you those on another day. 
um, that I purchased from this this one guy that does stickers and metal signs and stuff. Um, a lot of different stuff, but no crocheters, which really surprised me. A lot of jewelry. Uh, one person from Charleston who makes baskets out of reeds and grasses, and that is a very traditional thing to do. And the work was exquisite. It was beautiful, but it was really out of my budget. The smallest item that she had was um, a pair of earrings, and it was woven up like a basket, but it was small enough to just be like a hoop earring that you put on a dangle. And the pair of earrings was $40. Worth every cent, but just not in my budget for me to spend beautiful baskets that were hundreds of dollars. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. But yeah, you never know what you're going to find at a festival. Go check out a festival or two. It's festival season. Enjoy while it's festival season. And thank you for coming by to see me today. Um, hope you stick around. Hope you've liked, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, y'all.